What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and today we're going to be playing a new game. It's called Chroma Gun and you can actually find it on Steam. Now I was actually contacted by Pixel Maniacs and given a code for this game but this video isn't sponsored or anything like that. They just thought maybe I'd like it and if I wanted to I could make a video. So yeah this is my very first time playing the game but it does look very interesting. We're going to find out what it's all about in a moment. You're pretty much going to find out the same time as me. Once again, we all know what's happening with MAA, so it's going to be good to get some different type of gameplay on the channel. So I'm excited for it. Alright, so after a short elevator ride, the doors, I think, are about to open. Okay, well, we're still going down, I think. I know, exciting play-by-play. -play. And, well, I guess it's better than a loading screen anyways. But we arrive at Chromatech. Welcome to the Chromatech Test Lab. You're here because you're the best of the best. Not because you were in need of 10 bucks and nobody else signed up. I mean, who would have given you that idea? Before we start, we need to test your general mobility. Make your way down the corridor towards the exit door. Note that the exit is the part of the wall that looks different from the other parts of the wall. Also, it says exit. Alright, so the game gives us audio cues of what we're supposed to do and where we're supposed to go. In a pretty friendly voice, I have to admit. Actually, that guy has an amazing voice. The movement is very straightforward. It's standard movement. It's really responsive. And then there's these little loading screens, but they're fairly quick. And so that's when moving from one environment to the next. I don't know what this F box is. I tried clicking F, I tried opening it. I think it may just be for decoration. So I'm probably spending way too long on it. But hey, I want to be thorough. You don't want to miss any fat loot. Sensational! Please pick up the semi-automatic nano-acrylic projectile firearm right in front of you. This is the Chroma Gun patent pending that you've heard so much about. <laughs> okay, we're good. Of course you haven't heard about it. We here at Chromatech know how to keep secrets, and so should you. Now, paint the worker droid to move it out of the way, then exit the room using the room exiting technique you've learned in the previous room. Thank you, Incredible Voice. And there's an arrow with shoot pointing at the orb, so I think we got this. Check out these paint shooting skills, no scope. Unfortunately, I don't think we can paint everything, so... It's already yellow. Can't paint the lights. But these blank panels we can definitely paint. I don't know why there's two, but we'll shoot them both. And on to the next room. So there's the orb. We'll shoot it. Okay, and there's a panel. Well, I hate to leave one uncolored, so let's shoot that too. I don't know if you've seen my art before, but I'm an excellent MS painter. An original piece, by the way, hand drawn by me. I didn't trace Sam Wood's art or anything like that. That's all Kingfisher. So when it comes to painting, I'd say a more classical, realist, than modern. And hey, how about we paint this F? Okay, we can't do that. Sensational. Please walk towards the exit again. We're confident you've acquired all the necessary skills to complete this simple exercise. I agree, I think I have all the skills. Except for where do we shoot to make this... Alright. Problem solved. If nothing else, I'm a problem solver. And I gotta admit, I shoot first and ask questions later. That really goes for pain or bullets. I'm an indiscriminate shooter. Right now I'm just flying through these courses. We're loading up another one. I don't know if I'm just that good or what. Obviously though, the beginning is kind of like the tutorial with this guy's awesome voice. The paint the Chroma Gun fires is a specially developed blend of partially semi-lethal, dangerously radioactive isotopes and will paint any surface not designed not to be painted by it. That being said, please do not sniff, touch, or especially lick the paint Wait a second, this paint doesn't sound child friendly. I'm okay with that though. You know, I was always told my cousin used to eat paint chips by the way. And I don't know if I was supposed to shoot all those panels. Forgive me though, we skip it. 
Anyways, if you were wondering, my cousin turned out fine, I think. She just used to eat weird stuff like bark and paint chips. Wow, in this case, we have a lot of panels to pick from. Okay, and we have a very long line of orbs. So, can we get this one to come all the way in here? Well, they're not going to stop me from trying it. And I guess that's too far away. So, what can we do? Okay, I guess we send it to this wall. So, first we'll try that. I'm a little bit worried about blocking my exit. I don't know if we have to get these all to move to each panel, like individually. Okay, the whole line just moved. That works. As long as we can squeeze through the door, I think we're good. And the final puzzle's a real doozy. Completo. Alright, I think we're ready for the major leagues. We dominated the miners. You can't say all my time finger painting was a waste of time now. Please find and subsequently step into the trigger. Sensational! Please do not leave the trigger to ensure the continued opening of the exit door. Um, I don't think I can stand here and still go through that door. So we're obviously going to have to make this take my place. Sensational. Sensational. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droids. That makes you more intelligent than 39% of test subjects. 97% of test monkeys. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Hey guys, check out my relevant joke. This drone in the next room. It's like a social justice warrior. You know why? Because this drone is so triggered. Yeah, I've seen that in some other videos. I'm so trendy. Hopefully I don't get flagged by YouTube for that. Am I just supposed to leave here? Because this seems too easy. Like, is there something else? Um, well, it does say exit, so I don't see anything else we could possibly do. Hey, we won. I make this look too easy. I'm assuming they're going to be stepping up the difficulty, so I hope we're ready. I want to expand my color palette, too. The attraction that Chroma Gun's paint generates is based on a very complex set of mathematical vector operations. So instead of not understanding me explaining it to you, Try it out now. Alright, so what all that fancy talk means is shoot two walls and it'll gravitate between the two. So we'll shoot this orb, both of these walls, and it should sit on that trigger in the middle. Nailed it. You guys didn't see that miss. I was dead on that panel. I'm calling lag right now. So just so you know, if I miss it was lag. I think I used to be in a guild on WoW called If I Die It's Lag. Actually I may have started that guild, at least on my server. It wasn't my main guild, I wasn't the leader of that one. To be honest with you though I wouldn't have wanted to lead, not those 40 man raids especially. I just like doing my role as a hunter and that was it. Collect loot and go home. Well stay home but get off the computer. You know what I meant. It is worth noting that unlike the ones you've encountered in the previous rooms, the worker droids in this next room are not deactivating, but hibernating. Much like you and me, they do not take kindly to being shot at with paint pellets. Please do not disturb them, because even though they're not designed to kill you upon contact, due to miscommunication and engineering, they will. Well, I don't take kindly to those that don't take kindly to being shot by paint pellets. So there's going to be a problem. If this guy wants some, I'll start it. Apparently I have to get him on that switch anyways. Okay, he has spikes coming out and he follows you. But that's what we need him to do. And, yeah, he's going to get stuck to the wall so we're safe. Okay, well I have no idea how many stages there are. So we'll play a bit longer. Let's see if these tasks get a bit crazier. I'm assuming they do. May even get taken out by a spike death ball. The Chroma Guns paint can be mixed on canvas. If you remember your time in kindergarten, that part should be easy. If you don't remember or you never actually went to kindergarten, you may attend the Chroma Tech seminar on subtractive color mixing for preschoolers at the end of the test. 
I went to kindergarten. I know my primary colors. I'm not saying that um, we had this in there. In fact, I think I learned the color wheel in like seventh grade. I think there was only coloring books and maybe I pasted stuff. And there was red clay in kindergarten. And I think I messed up already. Well, never mind. We just have to make this one orange and then we're good. That should do it. Right? This door seems broken. Let me out. When in doubt, paint the entire room. I'm going to make a real mess until they let me out of here. So let's go. What's that wiring? That doesn't seem up to code. Oh! Okay, I had to turn this wall some kind of dull earth brown. And that disabled it, I guess. This is more my speed, yellow to yellow. And we win. Shoot this, make it orange, and away we go. Now this green one's blocking, can't shoot that wall, or it. So we will shoot this green wall, making it brown. And another one bites the dust. I don't know if you could say I'm a great Chroma Gun player, or the greatest. But it's one or the other. Not to brag. You know, I'm pretty humble. I'd definitely say I'm the humblest guy there is. If you could say one thing about me, that'd be it. And I'm an excellent singer and painter. To continue the tests, please acquire the upgraded tricolored chroma gun. As without it, you would not be able to solve the subsequent rooms and eventually succumb to hunger. A tricolor gun? Now we're playing with power. So it has red, blue, and yellow. The primary colors. A thank you. By the way, I actually do think there's a colorblind mode on here. It just hit me. That would be a difficult thing for some people. But I believe I saw that. I could be wrong though. I don't even know what they change. So we're going to fire some multi-color barrages and hopefully clear a few rooms since I think this is the main crux of the game. So far though, my impression is, it's pretty interesting. Definitely a good way to pass time. I personally plan on playing it more. I don't know if you want me to make more videos on it. Just let me know if you do in the comment section below. But like I said, they were a very nice company, and I believe they do have some other games to check out as well. So maybe I'll do that in the future. If they're made as smooth as this one, I would definitely be interested. You know what, I've decided that this is going to be the final challenge of this video. And it looks like a pretty difficult one. Maybe not for some of you that learned your colors in kindergarten. But I'm like seven or eight years behind, so that hardly seems fair. Now to get this one to go straight back. What do we do? Oh boy. Uh oh, I triggered it. It's real mad now. Um, we're just gonna fi we're just gonna fire everywhere. Get off of me! Just leave me alone. Really? He's gonna come way out here now. This guy's a griefer. Yeah, there you go. Now it's purple. Cling to your wall. Now on to the next room. What do we have to do this time? Oh, that's the egg. That's... That's the entrance. Okay. I know that blue and yellow make green. I don't know if that helps me, though. Oh, boy. I made it brown. It's now worthless. That doesn't seem good. Um... Okay, let's make that blue. And we probably have to make that green. So like I said, blue and yellow make green. That I know. So let's go ahead and shoot this orb, right? Well, let me just go ahead and paint the room a little bit. Add some color to it. That never hurt anyone. I mean, why watch HGTV when you can watch the Kingfisher paint? Would anyone want to watch that, by the way? Because that could be my next big thing. Here's another masterpiece. Yeah, I knew that would do it. I just wanted to fire a few more times around the room. 
Nailed it. Are you serious? There's another room? Man, this is the longest challenge ever. Now it's getting really complex. I have to figure out all these color schemes. All I know is blue and yellow make green. Okay, and yellow and red make orange. So he's chasing me, but he's going to get stuck. And purple. Okay, yellow and... Oh no. Um, oh no, now he's brown. Now he's just going to be inanimate. Inanimate? Something about that word doesn't sound right. That's definitely it though. Well, with it stuck, I don't even know what to do. So maybe we'll just go ahead and enrage this guy. It's not working. So... We're gonna paint this entire room. That'll fix him. Come on, somebody come fight me. All I can do is get into some crazy knife fight with this drone. I honestly don't know how to reset a room. That's one thing I need to figure out. Because right now, all I know to do is try to get one of these orbs to attack and kill me. There has to be an easier way. I'm just totally messing this up. Let's go back to the other room. I know there's a spike death ball there. And we can probably get him to knock us out. Yeah, this guy doesn't even have spikes. This guy does. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Once we make these ones brown, we're really in trouble. Just gonna rub up against those spikes real nice. Remember, if you want helpful worker droids to aid you with the completion of this chamber, these are not the worker droids you're looking for. <laughs> Sensational. Well, that laugh was ominous. I need to develop a laugh, especially if I'm going to voice a supervillain. I don't think I have a great evil laugh. And I'm certainly not going to try it out now. <laughs> that was either brilliant, like a gorilla mating call, or the dumbest thing I've ever done. I feel kind of dumb, so we may want to go with that. Hopefully everyone stopped watching by now and I can just say or do anything. I mean, we are 17 minutes in. Surely no one's still listening. That's how I'm going to comfort myself. No one heard that. Cool. So for myself and maybe my mom would still be watching? Um, hey mom. We're going to go ahead and finish this challenge and then we'll wrap this one up. If we die again, we give up and we're quitters. That's all there is to it. We're not quitters though and we got this. I just need to make a little color key like... Red and yellow make orange. We know blue and yellow. You don't need to tell me that. That's something that stuck with me over the years. But purple? Purple's tough. Is that red and blue? We're gonna have to figure that out. After we get this orange, that's what we have to get. So... Okay, red? There we go. Nailed it. Sensational. And so we'll make the green and walk away. In here, there's a bunch of empty colors. But it looks like we don't have to shoot any of them. Although we're going to go back and fire away. Yeah, take that. How about red for this guy? And blue right here. So we'll turn him green. And, well, you know we got that. So there it is. Pretty sure we're on our way to completing this game. I bet there's a lot of challenges though left. And they probably get more difficult. Still though, I think it's a fun game. Definitely made very well. And if it looks interesting to you, go ahead and check it out. That is going to be it for now. So I do want to thank you all for watching. Ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, and yes, we're going to get killed here at the end, good luck and take care. I don't know if you want to watch me die. It's probably too painful, but uh, my guy is going down. Wait, let's cut the video. 
We never died and we beat this. Just think of me that way.